a woman who's been so set free from her deep, dark secret that she is pouring into others in a way that is life-changing. And I, I can't wait to talk about some fresh chapters, including the hard one. She's leaving. Kalita, come on in here. Kalita Haverland. We, we know her as Kalita, but because we're kind of doing a, a real big overview, yeah. I just want people to get the, the whole picture. We have a lot of history. We do have a lot of history. And it's been so fun. Yeah. And I hope you don't think I'm not coming back ever. I hope you're not even letting that enter your no, mind. No, of course not. Surrey, BC. It's exciting for your husband, Gord Lemon. Mm -hmm. um, your son's staying behind at Brock University. He is. That's a big one for mom to, 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 to leave him here. But you know what? I just have a real peace about it. And uh, I think it's going to be good for him. And it'll be good for us, too. Oh, let's reflect just for a minute, because sure. we've we've had so much fun. Uh, <coughs> hello from Edna Parker, Aww, out Edna. there in uh, Beaverton. Hello, Edna. That, that was one of our, our great conferences together. That was awesome time. Great time. And um, you've had the experience not only of singing on this program and sharing your story, yeah. but co-hosting. I have a few times. And uh, <laughs> one of our favorite memories is when you and I co-hosted, and I'm glad they really picked <coughs> the right person. <laughs> to work with Tina Walenda of the famous Flying Walendas, the High Wire Circus oh, Act wow, family, uh, to try it out. Yeah, well, everybody's got to try, you know, high wire walking. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and you loved it. Sure. It I, I mean, fun. I think he was going to take you on the road if you were willing. Well. Um, shall we just reminisce? Sure. Let's go to that. Kalita, what you have to understand is, you have enough room to stand back there? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. All right, what you have to understand is, the more you depend on me, okay. the easier it'll be. All right. The more you try to balance for yourself, the more difficult it'll be. Okay. Yeah, also, this is much easier. Also, the closer that you stay to me, the easier it'll be. All right. I'm All right, Kalita, we're going to take a few steps. And you see, the way that you're wheeling a little bit, I realize you don't trust me 100%. <laughs> But you trust me enough to make it all the way across this short pipe. Excellent. I'd rather give Kalita her, your hand so okay. you can step down. Thank you. Ta-da. Ta-da. You are brave. And you did that so well. Oh, wow. Well. You do so many things well. Thank you, Moira. And singing was something that you knew you had that gift way back. Way back, yeah. And, and some real highlights. I'm just reading again about uh, people you, you've opened for in times past, Reba McIntyre, Randy Travis, George Jones, Waylon Jennings. Uh, but in those days, mm -hmm. when you were already having a great music career, yeah. you were carting a lot of baggage. I was. I was a very messed up woman. So when I finally let it all out and, you know, began to just face my own truth, that was... Uh, that was a huge turning point for me. What was a catalyst for divulging the secret, for facing and feeling all of the things? And we'll have to do a recap on that. But I'm just wondering what brought you to a place of saying, I can't carry this anymore. Well, you know, you realize that you can't truly be yourself if you're holding everything inside. And so when I actually divulged the deep dark secret. I think I was 18 and I had been sexually molested by my brother who was 10 years my senior. So I was like five years old mm. and and so you know and both my parents passed away and he passed away. So I lost them all by the time I was 17. So I think I felt that I was I was in a place where you know to divulge to at least tell someone the secret you know, my parents were passed on, and the, my perpetrator, my brother, he, he, had, was, gone he was gone too. So, you felt safe. I felt safe. I wasn't going to. It wasn't going to affect these people mm -hmm. because they were gone now. So, you know, I was telling my guests who will be with us uh, later in the program that I had seen a, a historical documentary mm -hmm. about uh, a woman, a, a number of survivors of a terrible incident in, at the end of World War II. And the interviewer asked, when did you find healing for your heart? Mm -hmm. And she said, when I was 70. I thought I heard wrong. 70. Seven, zero. Yeah. And the reason was so many people had suffered mm -hmm. in the war that she just put it all away yeah. until she met mm -hmm. someone 
some people yeah. who had survived the same incident. And then she was able to, yeah. to unpack it, to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. And how, t number one, how tragic it is mm -hmm. that stuffing a secret yeah. seems to be the safe thing. And it is absolutely the toxic, no, destructive it's, thing. It's, it kills you. It kills your spirit. It, it doesn't allow parts of you to grow. It doesn't allow parts of you to connect with those that you love and that you should be mm -hmm. connecting with. Moira, I meet women in, in my ministry and men as well who are holding back, whether it's childhood sexual abuse or some other deep, dark secret, and they are, they are imprisoned you know, and they, they live with such shame and guilt. And I have women, I have senior women, I have married women who will divulge that secret to me mm -hmm. and disclose for the first time. The response just to this song, Deep Dark Secret, has been amazing. Hasn't it, it has been amazing. It's, it's given per people permission. It's given them an outlet. You know, music is one of those things. I mean, maybe you don't have the words to express, but sometimes you hear a piece of music and, and it can just really deep, deeply affect you. And, and a lot of women are relating to Deep Dark Secret and uh, we have set up a Facebook page called Releasing the Deep Dark Secret. And we had such a strong response um, because the, the song itself also has a video that goes with it that a wonderful man, Richard, um, put together. He lives in the States and he's an advocate as well and helps a lot of men. And he put together the video so it, you know, it goes out there on cyberspace and different people see it. And we had such a strong response from one woman and she said, I received this CD from a friend of mine in the mail today and she said, I'm so moved and impacted by it that I have to give it to someone else. And this was an inspiration for yeah. something very yeah. brave and generous yeah. on your part. So now my friend Catherine Darnell, who is also a wonderful advocate who ministers to women all over the world via the internet, victims, survivors of sexual abuse, childhood sexual abuse, she and I have put together a little campaign called Releasing the Deep Dark Secret. And we are now offering Heart of a Woman CD to anyone, anyone in the world, anywhere in the world who has been affected by childhood sexual abuse. And so we're sending out free CDs. And then we ask that if, if they are impacted by what they hear, if it's helped them in any way on their journey, that they would then pay it forward. Then purchase, purchase this, one, purchase to, one give to, someone to give else. to someone else. Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know, Moyer, the music business, the whole thing has changed so much. And there, every day, you know, my husband Gordon and I have been in the music business almost 30 years. We meet yeah. people whose lives are changed forever because of the internet. People don't buy music anymore. And I have a message, and I've seen the response from women and men. And so I'm just saying, God, you know, you've given me the gift. I had this generously gifted to me the recording of it really yes you didn't have to pay all those dollars no to I have didn't it produced? no I had a, a wonderful organization out in BC who actually helped to fund it called incarnation mm. and so I'm thinking I've got this music I want to give it away because it's it's not mine to keep wow. you know it's the it's God's work this <laughs> heart of a woman has come from the heart of God yeah he's just leading you step he is leading by step. Me. There is what the cover looks like. I love the whole story. Is that the piano? That is the piano that I found as a six-year-old girl on, a, on our farm, which was in a boarded up old farmhouse in uh, just outside of Carmengay, Alberta. And because I'm moving 2,700 miles and I've been carrying around this heavy antique piano, which doesn't play, by the way. Oh, but it's been such a fabulous prop. I know, but you know what I'm doing? I'm donating it, and it's now going into a, a museum uh, with the City of Toronto oh. in Don Mills, a nice little house that's been around for since the 1820s, I believe. I wanted to find a home for it, and so um, I've decided that it's time to let it go and let other people enjoy it.